Hello everyone, it is September 6, 2023. This is Deanna and this is my vlog about dying of heart disease and a connective tissue disorder. It's exciting times over here. Anyway, if you haven't visited me before, I actually have, I was born with a genetic defect. It's called ACTA number two right after it. You can actually Google it. It behaves very similarly to Marfan syndrome and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and has shredded my arteries and given me multiple aortic dissections, strokes, as well as dissections to my head and arm arteries. I have had the entirety of my aorta repaired. That is the aortic valve up through the arch all the way along my spine to my iliac and renal arteries of the kidney. I have been through full uh, kidney failure. I was on dialysis once and one of my kidneys kicked in, which kind of saved me from the grief of a full kidney transplant. Um, I have had, uh, again, subclavian carotid vertebral connections, dissect on both sides of my head. I have actually had two uh, open heart surgeries in the past year and a half. First one was May of 2022, where I had a St. Jude's valve replaced with an Onyx valve and a pacemaker implantation. Was not happy with that at all, at all. That sucked. But I got it done, and then this past March, March of 2023, they found a 9.3 centimeter, I think, pseudoaneurysm sitting on my valve, so I had to have yet another open heart surgery. Um, you can kind of see my pacemaker here. You can see my chest has been kind of ravaged. I seem to be growing some strange lumps now because that chest has been opened four times and the rest of me has been opened multiple times as well. You can actually see some of my wonderful, beautiful scarring. <laughs> I'll show it better later. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, this is my vlog. I actually have a blog over at heartsandscars.com. I also own scarsandhearts.com, so if hearts and scars doesn't work, go to scars and hearts and you can actually read about some of my story. Anyhow, I wanted to give you guys an update. The last time we spoke, I was having to move immediately because my landlord was insane. It appears his wife may have talked some sense into him because now we are here for another two years. I hope to be alive. At this point, I have not been feeling well, to be honest with you. I've been feeling really horrible. Um, I've had a lot of like strokey, seizure kinds of incidents. I'm really stressed out. Of course, stress, everybody knows, is a precursor to a lot of these aortic dissection events and like some of the worst uh, like the stroke, seizure moments I've had have been preceded by some stressful events. So I'm really trying really trying to get calm about it, but we are very broke. I have no money. I'm trying my best. Um, any money I get seems to go out quickly uh, just because I have so many things that I'm still behind on. So I am starting a new job at the end of the month. Now, everybody knows I have not worked in a number of years because this aortic valve was stenotic. I was super stressed at my old job working in travel because it was just, they were on us and I was working from home, but for whatever reason, they were still asking me like detailed questions about what I was doing, even though they could see everything on the screen. I was just stressed out. Anyway, so I haven't worked in a few years. I am hopefully going back at the end of the month. I do have to have a CT scan. The last CT scan that I have, they had actually told me that I had had to have two more surgeries because two previous uh, repairs that I had were showing some evidence that they were slowly dissecting again. We had two more pseudoaneurysms show up. Now, the last CT scan that I had, which was in probably like three or four months ago, I, um, he told me, well, you know, unfortunately you're gonna have to do this. And I said, well, just wait, I'm sometimes magical. I've actually blasted out my own blood clot. I'll go over that another time, but I told him just wait. So what I started to do is I started to take an endothelial defense. Nobody's paying me for this. I hate that all of us just sell things to each other uselessly, but this has proven to be very helpful for me and I did want to share it with you. Anyway, this is just a quick update. I hope everyone is well. I promise to update more and take care.